Gaming peripherals are very popular with the gaming community, especially with their edgy design and flashy LEDs. We've tried many gaming wireless earbuds and headphones in the past, but today we're taking a look at one that is built specifically for gaming. Today's headphones are a wired offering from Edifier and promises all that you need when you're looking for a dedicated gaming headphones. So will this be any good? Welcome to a review of the Edifier Hecate GX. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Edifier Hackerty GX. So today's headphones were sent over to me by Edifier and from the first look, these headphones look absolutely stunning. At least for me, this headphone retails for about 89 US and that's about 399 Malaysia Ringgit and in the gaming world, these are really not the most expensive headphones but they are not really the cheapest as well. So if you're interested in buying these headphones, do check out my links in the description below. So the design of the Hecate GX is a beautiful headphone, very large in its size and I believe beauty may be subjective. So if you like the edgy flashy design like this, I think it will float your boat. But since this headphones is mainly catered to the gaming community, I think they will fit in any gaming gear that you have around. The headphone is mainly made out of plastic, very solid feel and these headphones also weigh quite a bit so coming in at about 400 grams. The top of the band is where you get the nice Hackety branding there, nicely contrasting the colour of the headphones and the headphone is mainly made out of a silver plastic that is very smooth to the touch. The entire headphone also has quite a bit of chrome pieces here and there which is a very nice touch in my opinion and along the band at the sides here you get two GX branding and at the bottom here you get another plate that says gaming. The other side uh, doesn't have any wording on it. So one of the standout feature of the Hackety GX is at the side of the headphones you get this nice RGB piece uh, with the Hackety logo in the middle and you can also use the RGB button right over here to cycle between the different colors. Uh, you can also set it to a specific colors that you want or you can also set it to a a cycling color so it'll cycle through all the different colors uh, in a set period of time. And on the left side here you get two buttons so one is a mode switcher so that lets you switch between gaming mode and music mode and below that you get a RGB button so this is also the button where you get to change and cycle through all the lights. So on the right hand side you also get a button to disable or enable the ENC microphone so the light at the microphone here will turn on and off uh, as you press the button and at the bottom here, you will also get a control wheel to control the volume of the headphone. So pretty intuitive there. And the great thing about this headphone and the mute switch here is that if you extend the microphone all the way, your eyes can actually see it in front of your mouth. So as and when you mute the mic, you can see that the light turns off. So you easily know whether your mic is turned on or off. Pretty cool stuff there. So below the left ear cups is also where you'll find the different input ports and in the case of the GX, this headphone has no internal batteries so you can only run them through a 3.5mm auxiliary jack, a USB Type-C to Type-C, uh, so that's mostly for your Android phones and you also get a Type-C to USB so you can use it for your PC. And as mentioned just now, on the left hand side, this is also where you get the retractable mic. Uh, so very nice there, you get a, I think this is 10 cm long of retractable mic, so this is very cool. If you don't need it, you can push it back in, and even if you leave it inside, the microphone still works, but it's not the clearest or the best microphone out there. So for the best use case for the microphone, you have to pull it out. So the band of the headphone is pretty solid, uh, and since they are made out of plastic, they do creak a little bit, if you can hear. But it still stretches really nicely and the band is also really soft and comfy. So at the top here, you will also get a very nice and plush band. 
Uh, I believe this is also in the same protein ladder that they have with the cups. The cups at the bottom here are also super soft and plush and Edifier also uses a protein ladder here similar to the band on top uh, which is the same as what you will get with the Sony WH-1000XM4 and in the case of the Edifier you have a very nice uh, right and left indicator inside the ear cups itself. So since these are wired headphones with no battery or Bluetooth built-in, specs on it are not abundant, but for what you're getting, they are all fantastic. So the GX is a high-res audio certified headphone, so what that means is that the headphones can play back audio at a super high resolution at 24-bit. So in order to be classified as high-res audio, as long as the headphones can play back music using a higher sampling rate than the standard CD at 16 beats, they can then be classified or certified as high res. So the headphone also uses a dual mic noise cancellation to help you with getting clear audio when communicating. And you can use it communicating in games or use it for teleconferencing. Uh, and they work flawlessly out of the box. Lastly, these headphones come with 50mm titanium diaphragm and this means that the driver is strong enough to resonate at very high fidelity, giving you very good reproduction of sound overall. So audio quality is where this headphone shines. With their high-res audio badge, you know you're getting the most out of what you're paying for it. Since these are high-res audio, we'll be testing them mostly with Tidal so that you can hear all the details that are intended for us to hear. So these headphones are superbly tuned as though normal edifier earbuds or headphones aren't already good enough. These just take it to another level. Using it for Tidal, you definitely hear everything that the artist intended you to hear. Bass is full but not overpowered so these are not your thumping bass head type of bass and clarity is perfect in my opinion vocals are very forward and not muffled since these headphones are not open back headphones they don't give you that open wide feeling but because of that large driver floating outside of your ears it does give you quite a nice wide sensation when using these headphones watching movies on these headphones is fantastic so if you're a gamer who is also looking for a headphone you can enjoy high res audio with then these headphones definitely don't disappoint. So this is a test to see if the new Edifier Hecate GX is a good headphone for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there is a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So this is a test to see if the Edifier Hecate GX with the mic extended uh, is a good headphones for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these headphones. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. And since these are wired gaming headphones, latency is of course non-existent. Whether you're watching movies or gaming, these headphones will give you ultimate latency performance for any situation. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these headphones. So honestly, I personally will get these headphones just because of the sound signature. They sound super high quality, totally meeting the standards of high res and overall produces very good dynamic range. And if you're a gamer and you love the look of the GX, then I don't see why you need to look elsewhere. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.